Good morning, Coward Hall. I'm Lucas Lobo. Today is Thursday, April 15th, a day four in your schedule. Please join me for the prayer and the pledge. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer. Dear God, we thank you for your love and your promise to be with at school or work, at rest or play. Help us to feel near to you and hear your voice. Guide us to always do our, do our best in every situation and to love one another. Amen. St. John Baptiste de La Salle, pray for us. Love Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The general announcements for today are as follows. Bio Life Science Student Alumni Panel. Discussion. On Thursday, April 22nd, the Alumni Office and Counseling Department will host a student alumni panel discussion with alumni who have various careers within the bio and life science industry. The event will take place from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in the Aux Gym. If you plan to attend, please sign up as space is limited. We will put a link in the weekend email this, com this coming Monday. Class president elections. CHC will hold online elections for class presidents for the class of 2022, 2023, and 2024 next Thursday and Friday, April 22nd and 23rd. Please check the week ahead email for more information about your candidates. Chairs outside. Students who move Adirondack chairs or who are sitting in chairs that were moved will receive detention. Please do not move chairs so that they remain apart. You do not need to wear a mask if you are seated in a chair. Please do not sit or lie on the field. COVID Lecture Series. The COVID Lecture Series, sponsored by Johns Hopkins, continues today at 3 o'clock by Zoom. In this four-week series, we will discuss mental health, vaccines, and myths about COVID. If you have any questions or need the Zoom link, please email Ms. Urban. Dining Hall. The main gym is set up for overflow eating from the dining hall. An auxiliary food station will be available in the gym as well. Please do not hang out in the dining hall or main gym. Once you're finished eating, please move outside to the tents or other areas where there's open space. Sophomores. Class ring. If you miss the ring ordering, a representative from Jay Jenkins will be here on campus Wednesday, April 21st from 3 o'clock to 5 p.m. to take deposits for purchasing a ring. Seniors. Senior deadlines. If you want to sign up for the valedictorian competition or the senior prom party, deadlines are this week. Please, ch please check the week ahead email for links. Today's the deadline to sign up for the senior prom party at CHC on May 1st. Athletics. Winter athletics. If you played a winter sport, please stop down the, the athletic department and pick up your letter and or star by Friday, April 23rd. 2020-2021 spring sports schedule. Varsity baseball at McDonough, 4.30 away, 2.30 Larry dismissal. Fresh soft baseball versus St. Paul's, 4 o'clock home. JV lacrosse at St. Paul's, 4.15 away. Water polo versus Mount St. Joe's, 4 o'clock for varsity, 5.30 for JV, away at Calvert Hall. Varsity golf versus Loyola, 3.15 home. B students at uh, varsity tennis versus friends, 345 home. JV tennis at friends, 345 away, 215 early dismissal. That's all for us today, Coward Hall. Please stay tuned for the following special announcements. Good morning, Calvert Hall. My name is Joshua Lee, and I'm one of the leads here at Calvert Hall Theater's production of Sherwood, The Adventures of Robin Hood. The show is a fast-paced, action-packed show filled with humor, sword fighting, and a whole bunch of other surprises that you won't want to miss. We're looking to build up our ranks, however, and bring in some more guys to be a part of this amazing show that is yet to come. This entails helping behind the scenes with stage lighting, 
and understanding different lighting cues that occur during the show. If you have an interest in stage lighting or would just like to try something new, please email Dr. Eaton at eatonj at calverthall.com. No prior experience is necessary. And finally, taking part in this production would earn a junior varsity letter for one production and a varsity letter for two productions. Thank you, Calvert Hall. Good morning, fellas. Um, course placement has begun. Uh, we've been letting you know it's coming and it's upon us now. So I would like to go through a PowerPoint um, and, and highlight some of the main points of the placement process. Uh, the first page that I'm showing you is um, just to remind you that your student download page on your resource board has a lot of things available to you. This um, uh, PowerPoint will be available as well as the program of studies, a list of half credit courses, et cetera. So your student resource board has everything you need to know, um, but we're afraid to ask. Course placement 2021-22, I want you to remember that the goal is to put you in the best course for your transcript, whether it's honors, regular, AP, whatever the case may be, so that you can get a B or higher through hard work. We don't put guys in lower courses because they want to get higher grades. We want to put you in the appropriate place and, again, boost that transcript if we can. Teachers have already made recommendations for your courses. They are there in your, um, uh, on your resource board now. Um, so you will be able to get to those, and I'll show you how to do it. Half credit junior and senior electives are posted, as I uh, mentioned on the earlier slide. Uh, the website opens for student courses today, April 15th. And the program of studies booklet is available. That will tell you everything you need, how many courses you need to take, how many math courses you need to take total, et cetera. All that information is in there and it's broken down for each year. Course selection is binding. I need you to listen. If you sign up for it, you are taking it, okay? A lot of guys bail out at the last minute and in July say, Mr. Blake, I don't wanna take a seventh course or um, you know, I changed my mind about my elective. Too late, for, fellas. Once you're in it, you are in it. And Calvert Hall doesn't have a drop ad like some colleges do. So I don't want you going through this process thinking, oh, I can just change things later. I'm not going to pay that much attention to it. You need to make good choices. You need to think about commitments if you're looking for an overload. Um, there's a lot that goes into this. Talk to your parents, talk to your counselors, and talk to your teachers. By the way, the reason we don't drop, it, it, two reasons. First, I don't want to quit just because things are a little tough. Obviously, if you've been in my office, you know that. And the second thing is sometimes when I place you in a, a course, it forces it into a certain area. If I let you drop it, some wonderful kid may have wanted to take it but got knocked out because I placed that course so that you could fit in it. And unfortunately, uh, that was kind of the best spot and then some other guy doesn't get to take it and then you drop it, that is not fair. So um, that's the rationale for that. On the next slide, um, this is how you initiate your course registration and that you can see what your teachers have recommended. So um, you're just gonna to go to that area and you're gonna choose course requests. On the next slide, you'll notice there are three areas. The green area is where all the electives reside and a list of um, all the courses that are open to you. The bottom purple area is what teachers have recommended. That's where you're gonna spend most of your time. Um, you're gonna look in the purple area and choose a course from that listing. Some teachers may give you two courses. If they're sort of halfway between regular and honors and they leave it up to you, um, that purple area, you would choose one. Please don't choose two history courses or two English courses if a teacher makes those available. And guys, the most important thing you need to know here is that blue area. Fellas, I don't care what's in the green area. I don't care what's in the purple area. When the situation closes, when course placement closes, you better have at least six courses in that blue area. Okay, so it's not official till you move them up. Okay, I'm gonna skip this slide because I just uh, ex uh, explained that. Notice um, for this particular student, he does have things listed on the left. 
He has still some recommendations on the bottom. But again, I want to draw your attention to that blue arrow. If you can see that in your homeroom, what that has signified is that earth science was moved up to be a course I want to take, as well as African-American history, which was an elective. That came from the elective area. Again, it only counts if it's in the blue area. If you don't populate that blue area by the end of the placement process, I will be visiting you and asking you to spend time with me after school. The blue area is the most important area. Again, teachers have completed their recommendations. Today, you need to look at those recommendations. If you disagree with a recommendation or you really would like to take an honors or you'd really like to move out of flex, um, there are some pretty strict guidelines teacher and explain why you haven't reached those guidelines. The teacher at some point is either going to agree with you and give you a shot, or they're going to say, look, I can't recommend you. Your current teacher do the recommendation. I will not overrule a teacher, nor will a guidance counselor. The guidance counselor can help you and help you advocate, but they cannot make the change in level. Um, for the level changes, generally, just as a rough estimate, you're going to need at least a 90, in some courses, a 93 or a 95 to move up. And there are some subjective evaluations. You know, if you don't work hard, if you haven't shown that you can write well, um, if you've shown that you can only do things when you've been shown them three or four times and you really don't learn quickly, that might be a reason a teacher may not want to move you up. And a level change down in general, we want to be careful not to move you down if you just won't work. If it's your best work, you could get a B. I don't want to move you down on a course. So you may have like a 74 and, and really can't understand why a teacher will not move you. Um, in general, no more than two level changes. So if you move up in two honors and you want to move up in a third, generally that is not um, accepted. However, there are exceptions. Um, now, if you are in history and you would really like to take AP history, Mr. Fan is your current teacher. Mr. Miz teaches AP. Mr. Miz can do nothing for you for that AP course. It must be your current teacher. Rising juniors and seniors, we want the best transcripts possible. We want the highest levels with good grades. Being in an honors or an AP and having bad grades is not going to help your transcript. Extra courses. If you're not in AP or honors, you could take an extra course. You could have seven or six and a half. And again, we have those dual enrollment courses. Maybe that's something you're interested in to juice up that transcript when you can't you know, qualify for an AP. Hey, those dual enrollment, they are not going to be on your Calvert Hall placement. OK, that has nothing to do with any. Those are electives. So in a week or so, I'll give you more direction on those, but you do not have to worry about those for um, the current placement. Business and half credit courses. Um, business is usually not a course um, for juniors. We want you to take foreign language. We want you to take physics. Okay, so um, it's going to be tough to um, get into business if we think you can take those other courses. Leadership classes, just to make sure you're aware, you have to be in the established leadership program. You can't just sign up for leadership as a, an elective. Sophomore fine art, we're going to do a presentation tomorrow, rising sophomores. Um, so I'll leave that for tomorrow. Um, humanities will skip since I'm uh, zipping through this as quickly as I can. Um, rising sophomores, again, um, if you would like to take a double math, you may. Uh, geometry and Algebra 2, you may also take Computer Science. It is tough. That is a seventh course, um, but that's the year to do it. And guys, if you want to get to calculus and you're currently in Algebra as a freshman, you must take Geometry this year. I do not like guys taking Algebra 2 during the summer so that they can you know, eventually get into calculus. Um, if you remember nothing else, my friends, no level changes, no courses dropped. Once the process is complete, start it now. Make appointments with teachers now. Every level change must be approved by your teacher. There is no drop period. Online course selection um, has to be signed by your parents, so that means it's got to be filled out. And um, again, once I start the course process, you cannot drop a course. So 
Maybe in late May, you may be able to get hold of me, but in June, you're, you are not going to be able to make changes. So really take a lot of time to do this. Mr. Knight and guys, thank you for your help and have a great day, fellas.